Hi everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Hildegard was born the 10th child of a noble family in modern-day Germany. As was custom, the 10th child was dedicated as a tithing to the church in hopes of raising a holy and devout Christian. The family could not have given a better gift to the church. By the age of three, Hildegard was already having visions that she quickly realized were unique to her alone. She hid her gift for many years, telling no one about what she saw. At the age of eight, she was put under the care of an anchoress by the name of Judah, who had renounced the world and desired to live in solitude and prayer. Hildegard always felt she was missing something in her studies with Judah, who was instructed to teach her in religious studies, including Latin. Although Latin didn't come naturally for her in written form, she was able to understand the intricacies of the language to construct complex ideas with the written assistance of others. Did I mention she was only eight? Over the years, Hildegard began sharing her visions only with Judah and the monk named Volmar, who eventually became her personal secretary. He went on to record her visions as well as many of her greater works later in life. Judah quickly exposed Hildegard to religious life and the young woman fell in love with every moment of this new lifestyle, even using it as an inspiration for many of her musical compositions in the years to follow. Following Judah's death, Hildegard was appointed as head of the convent at the age of 38. In 1141, a vision from God fully opened her eyes, and she was filled with the gift of instant understanding. Her heart was set on fire, not with an overwhelming burning sensation, but with a warming total grasp of all church doctrine and text. But in a world dominated by the knowledge of man, she hesitated out of humility to share what she had seen. Schisms were at an all-time high during the 12th century on what the church truly taught. Out of respect for doctrine, Hildegard decided to remain quiet until her visions could be properly approved by the church. Hildegard began corresponding with St. Bernard about her visions, who then shared her writings with Pope Eugenius himself. The Pope requested Hildegard to complete her writings and recordings of her visions, resulting in her most well-known work being Scivius, or Known the Ways of the Lord. Hildegard never doubted her visions throughout her life and even fought against schisms of the faith until her death in 1179. She was declared a doctor of the church by Pope Benedict XVI in 2012. She was the first composer whose biography is even known throughout time and was credited with a life that overcame social, cultural, and gender barriers for the greater glory of God and his kingdom. Let us also have confidence in our own God-given gifts that we may not be held back by the barriers in our own lives and that we may come to know the true beauty and knowledge of Christ and his bride, the church. St. Hildegard von Bingen, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint. Awaken the Saint is a three-minute daily show that unpacks the lives of the saints with practical messages for everyday life.